Let's say you want to use a data tool. But wait, this doesn't work. This version of data tool does not support this version of Overwatch. Alright, they updated it today. Uh, okay, let me check for two releases. Huh. No, that's... That's not the same number. Fuck. Okay, because I'll just... Uh, wait, then... Ah, fuck this. But alas, it's no use. There's nothing you can do. Unless... Steam Day pose? How does that work? The problem you have right now is that the current tool can't work with the new Overwatch update. Steam Depots are a way to download an older version of a game on Steam to your computer. If you download the last version of Overwatch that the tool still supports, you can use the depot instead of your Overwatch install to extract everything like usual. You do not have to wait for the tool to update. Of course, you can only extract what's in that version, so any content added in the newest update will not be available to you until the tool devs work their magic. You can still keep using this Steam Depot with all new tool updates coming in the future, since it's downwards compatible. Now, how do you get that depot? The first thing you need to do is own a Steam account. Then you will have to add Overwatch to your library if it isn't already. You do not need to install it. The depot downloader needs to check if you own the game, so it cannot be abused for piracy. Click the link I put in the description or search for depot downloader online. You will get to this GitHub page. Download the newest version and extract the zip. Go to the folder you extracted and open it. Then double click on the directory and type in command, exactly like you would do with the data tool. Go to the Steam database and search for Overwatch, then click on Depots. Click on the ID of the depot on the top. That is the main one, its file size is bigger than the others. You will need to download an additional language depot if you want to extract voice lines in specific languages. Go to the manifests and find the one that was last compatible with the tool. This will usually be the second most recent, but just make sure it's the right one by checking the date of the last tool update as well. Click the little button on the right, copy all the info you need to your clipboard. Type depotdownloader.exe, then Ctrl V to paste the info from the Steam database. This tells the program which manifest you want to download. For the program to work, it needs to verify you legally own the game you are trying to download, so you will need to log into Steam. To do so, type minus username, then add your username, as well as minus password and enter your password. This program is safe, it will not steal your login info. Before you continue, make sure you have enough space on your computer to fit the depot. The depot is going to be around 50 GB and will be saved in the depot downloader folder, so consider moving it to an external drive. Finally, press enter and wait to see if you made any typos. You might need to enter an extra code if you use SteamWard. It works the same as the normal login. If you did everything right, it will start downloading files after a short moment. This progress can take quite a while, depending on your internet connection. You can leave this window open and do other stuff in the meantime, it will stop automatically. You will know the progress is finished when the last line says download a depot. You will have to repeat these steps again a second time for a second depot. You are going to choose the one at the very bottom, it's about 300 megabytes, and make sure you use the manifest from the same date as the other depot you downloaded. Once that is finished extracting, take the data folder from the first depot and drag it into the second depot. It will look something like this. You did it! You now have an Overwatch depot. To use it, simply replace your Overwatch install with the path you saved your depot at. A full command line could look something like this. If you want to extract a skin or hero that is added to the game after the version of your depot, you will either download a new depot or use your Overwatch install again if the tool is updated. You are now almost free of the horrors of waiting for tool updates. Good job!